Hello and welcome, it's Adam from BetterProposals.io here and what I want to talk to you about today is creating residual income in your service business. Now, a lot of people try and do this and they get it very, very wrong because they apply the wrong uh, tactics, the wrong ideas, uh, they read an awful lot about sort of SaaS product businesses and the multi-billions that those companies make and they try and apply it to their small situation. This is the wrong way to go about it because you don't have the kind of resources that those massive companies have and you're not trying to do the same things. What you're actually trying to do is create a tiny little product to a tiny, small, niche group of people that you can clearly identify and clearly understand who they are and what problems they have and provide a simple, incredibly simple product that meets that particular need for those people. So I'll give you a couple of examples. Um, I wrote a book called Automate Your Business back in 2011 and we make about, I gave it away as a lead generator, but I uploaded it to Amazon so there was a link and it looked all fancy and professional. That makes about five or six sales a month. Not a lot, but five pound times eight sales is adds up over six years, you know? So that doesn't do particularly brilliant, but it brings in a little bit of money. Scientic was, if you like, the first version of Better Proposals. We made that in 2009, 2010 or something like that. And every couple of months, a couple of people buy some credits for 15 or 20 quid here and there. And again, it doesn't require any time and effort on our part. It's there. We renew the domain name, renew the SSL, renew the hosting, and it just sits there. And it just, every now and again, just produces a little bit of money. That's what you want to try and do. Now, obviously, if you can spend a little bit of time, effort, and money on making it better, growing it, making it produce more cash, then that is great too. Occasionally, something happens like what happened to us, which is we created better proposals for ourselves. So I had a good proposal system to send our um, sort of big 20, 30,000 pound systems, sort of good proposals for those. And what happened? Everybody wanted to use better proposals. So be smart enough to know you're getting lucky and we've moved our attention across to better proposals. And the end result of that is that it has overtaken our previous consulting business. Great stuff, that one worked. Um, but it doesn't mean the other stuff can't work as well. So couple of uh, sort of simple ideas here and things that you can think about. So if you're a designer, a web, you know, web designer or of any sort, um, or a graphic designer, do stock stuff. So um, you probably know the website Theme Forest. You could create themes and sell on there. Don't bother trying to sell them on your own. Use their pre-existing audience and their existing um, sort of systems and things like that in place. Follow all their rules, get a couple of themes up and make some residual income that way. Um, if you're a videographer, you could maybe sort of do some animation work or you could sell some stock videos. Photography, same deal. Uh, maybe create some filters or something. You can do stock photography. That's big business these days. Um, you know, if you're a developer or a coder or, you know, a, a website person, then you could create entire uh, sort of templates and websites for specific types of um, sort of common needs and you can sell those as pre-built things. Now, they don't have to make that much money. This is the thing people fail to understand. They don't make 50 sales in their first month at 100 pounds or 100 dollars a shot, and they think it's a massive failure. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Just get the thing out there and just get a sale or two a month. That's all you need, and it just builds from there. And then six months later, do another one, do another one, do another one, and eventually what happens is one of them just latches. You know, you create a theme and it becomes massive. And before you know it, you're the top seller on Theme Forest. Um, your stock photography flies off the shelf because Chase Jarvis just started using it or something, you know? So put the work in, create some products, some simple little products for a specific audience, and then get it out to pre-existing audiences like Theme Forest and all the Envato uh, uh, network of sites. Um, there's millions of others as well, but just get it out there, get it all to those different websites, and hopefully you can start generating some uh, sales and bring in some residual income for your business. So, hope that's helped you. This is Adam from Lake Bled in Slovenia, and I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.